We ask newcomers, experts, and employers, what should every newcomer know how to succeed at work in Pemina Valley? Today, we're going to share five pieces of their best advice. So this is how we all are responsible for the safety. We have been our part as an employer, as a leader, and as a worker. In my culture, when you apply for a job, it is normal to have your picture in a formal attire and information about your family, your religion, your birthday, on your resume. But here in Canada, if you put all of that in your resume, they'll be like, whoa, why are they putting all of this uh, private information in the resume? Um, how long have you been living in Pembina Valley? Як довго ви проживаєте у Ерії Пембіна Валей? Дев'ять місяців вже. She has been living in Pembina Valley for nine months. Canadian style resume focus on skills and achievements, not personal information. The style may be different from what you are used to, so regional connection can help you prepare your resume, cover letter, and practice your interview skills. Newcomers often remark that the Canadian workplace is very friendly. Pradeep, would you yes. please take care of this? This one, what we need to do, we need to take it out. At work, we call everyone on a first name basis, which was very surprising at first. Let's check the, um, check the stock on the shelf. How many? I think we had five bottles. Regional connections help me understand Canadian work culture, which is much more casual than Ukrainian work culture. Newcomers often ask, do I make eye contact? Yes, in Canada, it's polite to look at people in the eye when you're talking to them. If you don't, people will think that you're not interested, that you're not listening, that maybe you don't care what they're saying to you. There's all kinds of things that Canadians might think, but usually it's not good. <laughs> if you find it uncomfortable to maintain eye contact, look at the person's forehead and they will think you are looking at them in the eye. How's the scheduling for production looking? Line one looks on track, but line three, I have the meeting scheduled to see how we can speak things up. They're running in the mind of the day. Many newcomers ask, what can I talk about at work? And we always like to say, talk about the weather. Talk about what you did on the weekend. Talk about a, a hobby that you enjoy. Talk about sports, if you like sports, those sorts of things. That's usually what people talk about in Canadian workplace. We generally avoid talking about politics, about money, about religion, about sex and gender, and about your age. Teamwork is an important part of Canadian workplace culture and it is another good way to fit in. But to build a good reputation for yourself and to succeed at work, it's really important to make contacts and build relationships with everybody you're working with. And call her for delivery. If you're not sure how to behave at work, yes. observe how your co-workers behave. Yeah, Ruchika, yeah. Uh, after you cleaning this, write it down on the bottle clearly, RTS. Okay. And if you have a chance, you can also put this back and ask questions to learn what's acceptable in Canada. People give constructive feedback, they praise your job performance before they give any negative feedback. You work very fast, but you are making mistakes. You wrote a strong report, but you missed the deadline. Customers like you, but sometimes you are over-friendly. This Canadian style of feedback can be confusing. Listen carefully so that you hear the full feedback. Um, changing the way we do blog posts today to having a little bit more picture and visuals will help us to represent 
uh, things we do. Then we add uh, some related articles on this page. Many times when people are speaking, we think about the answer we're going to give while the other person is speaking. And this way, we do not hear the full feedback. In some cultures, there's a high power distance between workers and their bosses. So it's normal for employees to just smile and nod and say yes. And in other cultures, there's less of a power distance and workers might speak very directly to their supervisors. In Canada, it is important to speak up and admit that you do not understand. We want our newcomer employees to ask questions and seek clarification. Repeat instructions to make sure that you understand correctly. Or, if you don't understand, ask questions about what you heard. Can you tell me that again? Can you show me how to do this? Can you explain this to me? It is also important to speak up to defend your rights. If you feel you have not been treated fairly in the workplace, it is important to talk with someone you trust about your experience. We want our newcomer employees to ask questions and seek clarification. We also find it important, even in the interviewing process, for the employer to ask open-ended questions. Uh, so I wanted to welcome you guys to Maverick Industries. Thank you for joining our orientation today. We're going to be going through a mock huddle. Um, we do weekly huddles on the production floor. Uh, basically, this allows you to share your ideas, concerns, open-ended questions invite others to tell their story in their own words without leading them on to a specific direction. Here are examples of work issues. A co-worker makes a racist remarks. Your supervisor asks you to perform a task that puts your safety at risk. You are not paid properly. In some countries, it's uncommon to talk about work issues. It can be frightening, but we encourage our employees to speak up or ask questions if they don't know. One of the biggest learnings I've had is to share my own vulnerability. People like the opportunity to support and help and share their experiences. It also allows me as the employer to lead by example, to show that it's okay to ask for help, to ask questions for clarification, and admit that I might not know the answer. And the best part is that we can work together as a team and create a solution together. Most issues can be resolved by reporting them at work to a person in charge of workplace policy. If an issue cannot be resolved at workplace, you can also report it to Human Rights Commission or Employment Standard in Canada. Most bosses expect you take charge of your career. I said to my boss, is there anything else that you can teach me to do? So they taught me how to use the spray gun and I learned fast. I got my first job in a factory. I was not used to physical work throughout my life. So it was initially very hard for me, but I was so, so like determined that I need a job. So I just worked on it. And I was pretty sure this company being a big company, there were various other departments. I was sure that one day some opening will come through and I can get through there. And around six months, within six months, I saw an ad for other job in the same company, in the different department, and I applied for it, and I got through it. So, yeah, so it's where I am now. <laughs> As immigration continues to grow in our region, employers and newcomers will find success by being culturally prepared for one and another. We can each take responsibility to do our part to ensure we are building a welcoming and inclusive community for generations to come. For more tips and resources, please feel free to visit www.pvlib.ca for welcoming and inclusive community toolkit. Connect with us to share your story, connect with us for your feedback, and get involved in building a welcoming and inclusive community.